Hello everyone! Welcome to year two of my, I guess you would call it my fireside chat. For those that never saw the previous one, where I basically broke down my first year of content creation, uh, this is essentially the year two version. Very informal, very just relaxed, no script, no anything, just me talking to you and about what's happened, what's happening, and what we may be looking forward to in the future. So, year two. Two years of making uh, videos on YouTube. A lot has happened between then and now, for sure. It always feels like something new comes up. Like, with every few months of experience I get with content creation, something new crops up and kind of, I guess you would say, shakes the boat a bit. But in a good way. In a good way, well, mostly. But, I suppose I'll start with what I feel, how I feel now, uh, versus I did a year ago. And honestly, I'm gonna be frank, I feel kind of the same. I still enjoy making content, I still enjoy uh, meeting with and talking to people about uh, Final Fantasy XIV or lore and other games or whatever. Just, I, I can't help it, man. I'm a, I'm a people person at heart. That was why when I walked up on stage uh, during the Las Vegas Fan Festival, I wish I could have stayed a bit longer up there, maybe ask some lore questions to the audience and see how they feel about a few things. <laughs> but I know they never would have given me the mic, so oh, oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> Oh man, that, that was a lot of fun. Totally worth the trip to Vegas, not only to meet uh, some of the members of the Volume 14 crew, but fans of my channel, other content creators, and just building relationships, friendships with people. That, that was totally worth the trip. <laughs> and the... Uh, Stress of uh, getting to ev getting everything together to go in the first place. <laughs> oh man! So, Fall Fantasy fourteen, right? It's in a bit of a weird spot right now. You've got a lot of content creators that, uh, now that the honeymoon phase is over, are uh, saying that they don't much care for Endwalker. And you got a lot of content creators that are, like, moving on to other things, that they feel like Final Fantasy XIV has kind of lost that uh, grease or fuel that kept people engaged uh, over from expansion to expansion. And, uh, honestly, I can't exactly blame them, but I can't exactly entirely blame XIV either. It's impossible to keep people's attention 100% of the time. And if you were the kind of game that is forcing people to log in through FOMO, well, then you would be a bad guy for that as well, so... Eh, I don't know. And Walker certainly doesn't have as much going on as in terms of uh, uh, interactive content as some of the prior expansions do. Uh, so... I can definitely see where people are coming from on that. We don't have a proper relic grind. We don't have, like, group content like we did with Eureka and the Bojan Southern Front and other expansions. But at least we got uh, Island Sanctuary and uh, the Crytean Dungeons this time, which... Honestly, the Crytean Dungeons are a lore fan's uh, dream, <laughs> just because of all the uh, little note cards I get to read after I collect them all. So, I, I uh, you have to take the good with the bad. Is Endwalker as engaging as all the other expansions? Eh, I'd say no. Honestly, I haven't been super engaged with post Endwalker content. The only stuff I really have been looking forward to is the 24-man uh, raid with the 12. 
because like we've been sitting on lore with the 12 for years now so it's it feels so good to finally get a lot of that out in the open you know what i mean but i mean we have the last 24-man raid to look forward to very excited uh, might end up running that with some other content creators uh blind just for funsies but uh, other than that I mean, even though you got some channels saying Endwalker has kind of like killed uh, their desire to make 14 content, as you can see, I didn't plan on stopping and I have yet to plan on stopping, so <laughs> don't worry about me. More Final Fantasy XIV lore content always coming up down the pipe, so always something new to look forward to. If anything, my problem right now is that the amount of big projects I've kind of split my attention between has slowed down my upload speed. Usually I would get about two videos out a week, but that's kind of slowed down to one video a week for the past uh, few months. Mostly because I've kind of had my attention split between wanting to do bigger projects. Push the envelope, try something different, really try to entertain people. Uh, with the content I'm able to produce, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have to move things around, try something different, because I don't want people to feel like I've suddenly stopped caring, because that, that that would be far, far from the truth. I can't tell you how much fun I've been having with this channel, with all of you, and all of that good stuff. So, but, so Look forward to big, fun things on the horizon. I, I do hope you enjoy uh, watching it as much as I had fun uh, putting it together. Oh, uh, but speaking of things to look forward to, uh, while I was stupid and so obsessed with the Vegas Fan Fest that I fought, forgot to apply to do a panel for uh, LunarCon this year, I was actually approached by the leadership of the convention asking, hey, would you be interested in attending this year's LunarCon as a VIP? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> to, put it, to put it bluntly, I just immediately, it was an emphatic yes, because uh, I think the one running the show this year is uh, Crystal, and she... Uh, was one of the individuals I had the delightful chance to meet in person at Vegas, and I actually went to dinner with her, uh, Joe Cat, and uh, uh, a few others. So, oh man, that that entire evening was just a blast. Th those people were so much fun. The only uh, downside is that I didn't get to spend more time hanging around them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but no, so look forward to me attending LunarCon again this year. I'm not doing a lore panel, but I will be hosting a lore game show. That's right, you heard correct. I will be hosting a lore game show where I grill... Uh, not, well, I shouldn't say grill, that sounds mean. But I test the lore knowledge of other content creators that you may know of. So... Look forward to that. I believe I also will be partaking in a, uh, I think it was a lore, not a lore, it was a, uh, cos, not a cosplay competition. Glamour competition. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So, I'll be a, a judge on that, uh, as well. So, if you plan on attending LunarCon this year, and you were, ho you were hoping I'd be there again this year, well, your wish has been granted. I will be attending LunarCon again, and I hope to see just as big a line this year as I did last year. That Walking up and down that line was definitely the highlight of uh, last year's LunarCon. <laughs> oh man, what else? What else? As you all know, I've been doing more content with like other channels lately. I've definitely been... Uh, asked if I'm willing to lend my talent, uh, with either my voice or my writing, to other channels now and then, and that's becoming more frequent. And every time I've said yes. Like, anyone who's come up to me asking, 
whether it's they want me on a podcast or they want me for a short video or they want me for a long video, I've said yes every time. Uh, because, again, not only am I a people person, but those are the kind of questions I guess I've been waiting my entire life to be asked. Because, I mean, growing up, I was definitely not a popular kid. And I, I was one of those kids who, you know, was always picked last for stuff because, oh, he's a weirdo, don't pick him. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, eh, yeah, fair. I'm a fucking weirdo, that's, that, that's for damn sure. But to feel included like that is an amazing feeling because... I always watched and enjoyed channels uh, and content creators, yeah. Like, I remember watching stuff made by Team Four Star and thinking to myself, man, they must be having the time of their life working together to make content like that. I'm jealous. I wish I was a part of something like that. And I looked at, like, you know, what would you call it? Was it originally Achievement Hunter? The, th the stuff that Rooster Teeth was doing. But um, you had all of them playing games together and working on projects together. And again, same thing. I'm like, man, they're probably having the time of their life. I wish I was working on stuff uh, with people like that. And even stuff with Ed, from uh, who was originally creating Ed's World. Uh, Tomska's old friend, who unfortunately passed away way too soon. Uh, rest in peace, Ed. Uh, but, no, again, those were a group of friends uh, making funny videos together, and again, I thought to myself, man, how cool would it be to have friends like that working on content together like that? And growing up, I tried to do stuff like that, you know? I tried to be that guy that was all like, hey, guys, let's uh, work on a project like this, you know? Or do, do something like this. And no matter how... Uh, much other people thought it was a good idea, I always ended up being that guy who was doing all the heavy lifting. I, I was the only one coming up with ideas, I was the only one working on stuff, which is why I guess I have uh, so little trouble working on and managing just about everything about this YouTube channel on my own, because I'm used to doing things on my own. But all of that has... Uh, changed i guess as far as you can see like first caddy uh my artist offered to do pictures for me in title cards which i agreed to happily and then uh another channel uh the wizards and warriors channel asked if i was willing to write entire scripts for their youtube videos and i'm like wow really you want me to write for your YouTube channel? Which, again, I happily agree to. And then from then on, it's just been meeting more people and getting more involved with other projects. And now I'm living that dream, so to speak. I'm talking to people. I'm engaged with other people's content. And I'm creating. And I am happiest. Actually, you know what? I will say this for the record. I am personally happiest when one of two things is happening number one i am creating i'm writing i'm interacting i'm building something either by myself or with others there's something about the art of construction and building something for an audience that just i can't fully describe but uh, that's number one and number two is when I'm getting the chance to enjoy someone else's creation. That's why I love to sit down and listen to other people's lore channels, listen to other people's videos, and stuff like that. Because what's as fun as creation than simply enjoying other people's stuff? You know what I mean? So here's hoping that, I, that not only I continue creating, but all the amazing people that have been putting out crazy good stuff lately keep doing so. You know, you've got Vivzy Pop with all of hers, with uh, all the successful stuff she's been doing. I think uh, uh, the team behind Lackadaisy, the, uh, uh, 
the uh, uh, animation uh, with the cats during the uh, early 1900s. Like that, also amazing job by all those individuals involved. But uh, again, so many good channels, so many good projects out right now. I could spend an entire video talking about them, but that's not what people are here for. They're here for Final Fantasy XIV lore, or at least me talking about lore. Because I've gotten more than a few comments of people asking like, hey, how would you feel about covering this game's lore or that game's lore? And honestly, if I felt like it wouldn't suddenly alienate half my audience, I would. I definitely would, but I don't feel like I'm... I don't know. I guess I feel like I haven't proven myself enough yet, because while I definitely feel like I've achieved a lot with uh, this channel when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV lore, when it comes to other lore channels, I still haven't, I don't know, I don't feel like I've hit that goal yet. Maybe once I feel like I've hit that goal, this uh, sense of imposter syndrome will uh, fade away. But we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. But other than that, recently, I asked people how they would feel if I covered content that is essentially just the MSQ of Final Fantasy XIV, breaking down the entire story of Final Fantasy XIV in just quick little nuggets, if not for myself, for people that have, one, never played Final Fantasy XIV, or two, wanted a refresher on the events, the lore, and how these things led into one another. On one hand, I'm... I've never cared for that kind of content, simply because I've always thought it was redundant to tell you what you just witnessed. Like... I don't know. I... I've always felt... it kind of silly to be like if a patch comes out and people just saw the story of the msq why would i make a story of the msq you literally just saw what happened but i don't know a lot of people have been asking for this kind of stuff and i see a lot of people on reddit asking where they can find videos like that so i don't know if no one's going if no one else is going to pick up that torch i guess i will or at least i'll try to Covering entire expansions worth of uh, storytelling will not be easy. And I am certain I will get a lot of people saying things like, Nuh-uh, that's not how it happened. You're misinterpreting. And I'm just like, what the... Uh, buddy, I'm just reading back what the, the guy said. <laughs> uh, is it going to rain outside today? It's kind of cloudy all of a sudden. Yeah, it's probably gonna rain. Oh well, rain's a good thing. I enjoy rain. It's so relaxing when it kind of just patters on the roof. You know what? I, you know what I mean? When it doesn't leak, that is. Ugh. If you got a leaky window, suddenly you're freaking out about water damage and all the other crap. But, oh well. So much has happened in year two of content creation. So much has gone on. I've went to Vegas and experienced the Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest. I've met a lot of people I've respected and wanted to see uh, in person. I've been invited to work on projects I never thought I would be invited to. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. Oh, man. And it's all because of you that I get to feel this way, that I get to experience all of this. I would not be here doing all of this if people weren't asking for more, if people weren't supporting me. So I want you to understand that to those of you listening in right now, yes, I am talking to you. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for watching my content, for subscribing to the channel, for liking, for sharing my content with other people and whatever. Like, you are the reason 
I am enjoying my time on YouTube the way I am. So again, thank you. And it's because of you that I always look forward to the next thing I'm putting together. And no matter how bad things get now and then, no matter how many know that, I will always try better. I will always try again. I will look at what went right, what went wrong, and try again. Because that's what entertainment is. I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm doing this for you. For my audience. If I wasn't doing this for all of you, I would just be writing for myself in a corner somewhere. And I've done that enough in my life. Thank you very much. It's, it's high time I spend time with the people that want to see content. So, thank you. I, I really could never thank you enough. And the only way for me to show my appreciation is to keep working on projects more and more and more. So, I mean, that's what I plan on doing. I really do. <sighs> But I, I hope, <laughs> damn it, I'm getting sentimental again. I hope that you all are having an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life, honestly. Remember, life is too short to get hung up on the small things. Just remember to enjoy yourself, enjoy the company of those around you, and just go with the flow, my friends. Relax, take it easy. Everyone is so uptight these days about every little thing, every little opinion. Meanwhile, I'm just over here in my little corner of the internet being like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna keep writing, thank you. Uh, but I hope everyone else is enjoying themselves as well. No matter where you're from, as I've learned that I have fans across the world, no matter who you are, no matter what your background, no matter what, no, all of that's irrelevant in the eyes of art, in the eyes of uh, entertainment. I will create for everyone, and that is a promise. But uh, it sounds like the deluge of rain really is starting now, so I'll, uh, I'll call it here so that you all don't have to listen to the heavy pitter-patter of my tiny little uh, recording room. So, thank you all for stopping in and uh, listening. And thank you again for everything you've done to make me realize my little internet dreams. And I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, till then, uh, stay safe, my friends. Oh, Lord, it's starting to go... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Stay safe, my friends.